Welcome to Building Fortunes Radio. Make sure you check us out at buildingfortunesradio.com. Along with our marketing partners, we're here to help our PM Marketing Network Lead customers build their businesses and make the world a better place. At Building Fortunes, we know how much your business means to you and the people important to you. So spread the word, tell a friend, join our newsletter, and go make a difference in your world. Now on to our show with your host, Peter Mingles. Hello, everyone. Peter Mingles, you are listening to us on Building Fortunes Radio. That's www.buildingfortunesradio.com. And for a lot of you that might be first-time listeners, my name is Peter Mingles. We run this whole thing, and we've done thousands of our radio shows. And one of the things that I wanted to do on our radio station is actually have a platform for people who are doing the right things. And we work a lot with people in home-based businesses. But I recently connected with a gentleman named Jerry Soulier, and he runs Soulier Construction. and been doing the construction business for a long time. And when we had first spoken, uh, we were talking about what is he doing on his website. And people that are actively building their business in construction usually don't get a chance to worry about building their website because they're busy remodeling basements or refinishing kitchens or putting up windows or whatever else they might be building as far as new construction. So I said, you know, I think we can help you with some of that stuff. And then also the world needs to hear more about you And if we put you up on Building Fortunes Radio, you'll be able to be heard on iTunes and Stitcher and our Amazon devices because we have a huge range, and you deserve it because you're a good guy working really hard to be able to successfully help people with their home construction or their new projects that I also want people to be able to hear your voice. So we're going to have you on the radio. And we did a couple of radio shows already, so you'll want to check that out. If you go to buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash Sulier Construction, I'll spell it for you in a second, uh, you'll be able to hear the different radio shows. We put up a YouTube channel for them as well. And, of course, if you go to the website, suliereconstruction.com, you'll be able to see the different projects that he's working on and uh, some of the things he's done in the past and stuff that he'll be doing in the future. But most importantly, I wanted you to be able to hear his nice, friendly voice, and um, hear a a little bit more about him so you can get a comfortable feeling because that's important when you're working with somebody that you get a comfortable feeling with them. So Soulier is spelled S-O-U-L-L-I-E-R-E. S-O-U-L-L-I-E-R-E. And then construction, if you go to soulierconstruction.com, you'll be able to see the website that we're building out for him. And if you go to buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash Sulia Construction, you'll be able to hear this and other radio shows that we've done with him before as well. But he's a hardworking guy, so sometimes it's hard to catch him even late at night at 8.30. So he's here. He's over in the southeast section of Michigan. Jerry Soulier, thanks for being here. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we're up here in southeast Michigan, you know, probably halfway between Port Huron and Flint. So that's up in the thumb area of Michigan. So, yeah, we, uh, we're we having a, not too bad of a winter here. The weather hasn't been too bad uh, considering what we normally would have. So it's been pretty mild, and we've been lucky. Uh, got a lot more rain. But here we're, we are looking, you know, forward to the new year coming up and the work of the new year and uh, the warmer weather, you know. Um, it's coming up sooner than we think, the fast process of spring will be on us before we know it. So well, we hope so. We, to, <laughs> we, we hope yeah. so. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Used, I, used to run the, I used to run around the Midwest, and sometimes winter ain't over until it's over, if you know what I mean, especially oh, when you're in that's Michigan. That's for sure. <laughs> that is so, definitely for sure. Yes, so, for sure. But we have, uh, so most, so we, we're looking to okay. do, you know, getting ready with planning for projects for the spring and summer projects. And that's what we want to talk about now because, you know, if you're a farmer, you, chances are you're not sitting there doing anything with the fields just yet. But since you're going to be yep. building something, you usually need plans and permits and thought processes and you need to buy materials and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So there's usually – and they also have to worry about whoever you're working with probably is doing some other jobs too. So you have to worry about planning as far as time management is concerned. So you never have enough – you never have all the time you really think you have when it comes to building out that new spring or that summer project. So talk to us about some of the things that you know you'll be working on and some of our Building Fortunes radio listening audience uh, would want to hire you for doing. Well, good, yeah. Some of the different projects that we're looking for, there's obviously a lot of planning that goes into the project. We'd like to um, make sure that we cover every detail um, very 
detail oriented when I go in. What we do is um we go to the customer's home and we look at their project that they're thinking about and we can look into their home further and see what conditions might be uh needing upgraded. Um in Michigan here especially we're really big on smoke detectors and things. So anytime we pull a permit or do a project we have to do upgrading those smoke detectors. So there's a lot of things that we have to put our eyes on to really get a good price for these people. And then uh you know, so that's a, a big part of our planning and we'd like to do when we're doing kitchens and bathrooms for our customers. Um we just finished a really nice kitchen that we just posted on our website at Construction dot com of a house in Dryden. Now we opened up the exterior wall of that home and now that dining room and kitchen area is twenty seven by twenty nine with an wow. eleven foot island. So it's a really beautiful kitchen. The homeowner had some really good ideas and some really good vision of what she wanted it and we were able to bring it to life for her. So that was really great. But now we're getting into spring coming up and our where we would be doing these addition products projects that we like to do and uh that's where it comes into this time of year is planning time this is a get on the schedule get the plans going um get that exact cost to figure out what you need inside and out of the building so so one of the things you'd be doing is inside construction or inside renovations as far as expanding certain rooms what other types of projects will you be doing during the spring and into the summer we have a couple of additions over the top of a garage um, and then total renovation of the exterior of the home coming up in uh, Troy, Michigan. Um, we are finishing up another project that we started um, in the fall this year of a kitchen expansion on a home. We have three kitchen projects going right now. Then we have a couple bathroom projects that we are looking forward to working on, on the inside during these uh, colder months. So through February and March, we'll be inside doing bathrooms and kitchens and um, projects like that. Then come spring, we'll be moving to the exteriors of the home, um, additions and new siding, new roofing. Um, we have a project that's going to be full all around on the home, a new porch add-on. So you can change the whole look of the home, you know, to what you're looking for in that home. And what we do, too, is we offer evaluations on the home. Like, you obviously don't want to overbuild for your neighborhood. Or is this, you know, we've got to look at the long term. Okay, I'm planning on staying in this home for 20 years. So this is the look that I want in this home. Yeah, you might spend a little bit more uh, than what the house might be worth at that moment. But it's custom to your lifestyle and your ability to be able to use that space. So that's what's more important in a long-term home. And so that's the way we evaluate the different projects, and then we can show them with a different data that, you know, their home okay will go up this much in value in comparison to your investment. So you can show them the return on their investment right away. So that's what we're working on coming up in the, the spring and summer. So I would imagine – that some people would be thinking about, you know what, I'm ready to get some light in my house. And I was thinking about maybe like a greenhouse, if you will, or a garden room, or I don't know what they would be called, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that say, you know what, I've just about had it. You know, it's great, you know, cabin fever. Give me some sun. So can you do projects like that? Well, we can. um, It really depends on what we're looking for the foundation. Um, In the spring, we definitely would be able to. We have done um, quite large different sunrooms. We had a customer that had a deck that was sagging off the back of their house. It was in a just terrible shape. We, he was actually afraid to even go out and use it. And luckily he was able to see that and um, there was no catastrophe like there has been in other cases. But um, the frost had lifted the deck so high it, so many times through the years that it had pulled away from the home by two inches. So it was just oh, barely wow. hanging by just a couple of nails where the whole back attached to the home. And uh, so we, we came in, we tore that deck down, and we put in the proper foundation. And then we did a large deck, and we did a um, four-season room for them above that, enclosed with all glass. They were never able to use this deck um, it faced due west, and in the summer here in Michigan, when that sun is baking from the west, 
all day and all afternoon, and they were not even able to use the space. And now with the windows that we installed that had the solar glazing, they can be in there any time of year, be perfect temperature. Um, they have the full vision of the back open fields behind their home and all the comfort there. They use it all the time now. And we were able to show them on a video of what this would look like on their home before we built it because they couldn't have that vision. They didn't have that vision of, okay, this was a $90,000 sunroom, you know. So it's a big undertaking, a big expense. But, you know, they didn't have the vision to see that, okay, this is what it would look like on our home, you know. They knew that they wanted it, and but it was a lot of money. So we were able to take a drone and take pictures, and then we superimposed this um, addition of a sunroom on the back of their home and then we were able to show them the video and of the sunroom superimposed on their home with a video of a drone flying over. Um, there were birds in, in the background chirping. It was a really nice video, but it was a give them all around view of what it would look like actually on their home. Right, so it made it easier for them to visualize it and feel comfortable with making that decision. So that's all good stuff. Let's do this. We're going to take a little commercial break. You're listening to Jerry Sulier on Sulier Construction Radio. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to Building Fortunes Radio. If you sell a product or service, then you should check out PMMarketingsNetworkLeads.com. Just visit www.NetworkLeads.com. For over 18 years, PM Marketing has helped distributors build their home-based businesses through lead generation, website development, automated email delivery systems, and sales training. If you're looking for a way to increase your skills and increase the number of people that see your product or opportunity, NetworkLeads.com can help. To learn more, visit www.NetworkLeads.com. Ask about their lead management system, capture pages, personalized websites, MLM training, humongous blogs, the humongous classified ad network, Building Fortunes Radio, or their webinar schedule. NetworkLeads.com can be your one-stop shop for everything you need. And now, back to our show. And we are back. Peter Mingles here with Jerry Souliers from Soulier Construction. Go to SoulierConstruction.com or you can hear some of the previous radio shows on BuildingFortunesRadio.com forward slash Soulier Construction as well. And we're talking about some of the projects that your company can work on. Is there a project that's too big or is there a project that's too small? Now, I know you probably do a lot of stuff, but is there, you know, what's, what's a small project for you guys and then what's a big project for you guys? Well, we really pride ourselves on, um, you know, nothing too small. Kind of, I tell people I do anything from storm doors to whole houses. Um, a, a small project might, you know, lead, uh, show somebody that, you know, hey, this guy's, you know, on top of it. Um, and we show quality in our work. We're polite with our workers. Are always, you know, in their best, you know, behavior, and and we, you know, have all of our employees, our background checked, so we control the quality and we can control the timing and the scheduling. So it makes a big difference. And when people see that, you know, then they want to do a larger project, you know, or they when they think about a larger project, they say, hey, you know, this guy came in, he was clean, he did great work, you know, let's go. So we really pride ourselves on that. And as far as too big, no, I'm not out to look and build um, skyscrapers or, you know, any, you know, big, huge commercial buildings. Um, we are residential, you know, any size home would be no problem. I worked on homes up to 18,000 square feet before. So, you know, there's 100 rooms in that home. But, you know, it just range on, you know, the different lifestyles. So, you know, that's a big thing when we're planning a project. You know, we have to sit down with the people and, and make sure that we go through room by room and we make a different people work and checklists for each room on different colors. And I mean, because that's how you, you know, we like to come up with an exact cost. We do not like hidden costs. And, you know, that's the biggest thing that I get complaints about or hear from other people from other companies is like, well, they told us this, you know, and we, we're not sure. We don't believe you. You know, how can you tell us? I said, well, because we did all this background check on your home and exactly what you want. We picked out product. We have everything in line and ready to go. And that's how we can give exact cost. So that's a good feeling and a good warm feeling for a customer to know that, you know, that we have an exact cost. Unless I change something, I know exactly what my payments are going to be each time. And we set up draw schedule 
schedules, you know, so everything is under contract so that you feel real comfortable with knowing, okay, they're going to finish the siding on the home and I have a draw coming up at this amount at that point. They're going to finish the drywall inside. I have a draw coming up. So it's a good, smooth process. So that's really a comfort factor for a lot of homeowners. Excellent. Now, what about, like, I'm thinking about myself uh, as far as my situation. We're a family, if you will, in transition. I got kids coming and going, and I think they're gone. Uh, But now, like, we have to maybe worry about my wife's parents. So I might have everything from, okay, the way I'm looking at it, maybe I'm going to have maybe one or two older people maybe moving in, and then maybe my, I don't know if my son, might come back home and maybe we might want to expand it for that. So I could, could, could I like have you come over and kind of tell you what's going on and you would kind of take a a look at my house and be able to kind of walk me through here, some of your options. Cause I don't know, like, I just don't know what's even possible. So my scope is somewhat limited and I would just be able to say, Hey, this is what's going on. What would you do in this situation? Definitely. We we actually come across that quite a bit. I mean, um, more and more now, we have um, younger people, um, you know, taking care of their parents and, you know, a lot less people, you know, putting them, you know, off somewhere else or whatever. So you see it a lot more. I'm really happy to see that. But um, we did it ourselves even. But it, the biggest thing is, you know, you've got to look at, you know, okay, what are your possible, you know, things that could come up in your life that you're going to prepare for. And we can come to your house and look at your site. And we know, you know, the boundaries and the different stipulations that are made by your different local municipalities that, you know, we can come out here and and say, yes, definitely you could add an addition off the side here, um, blend it in. We have different um, pictures on our website that we're just doing right now of uh, homes where we've done additions and um, had to brick them in. And they, you cannot tell after we were done where the brick started and ended before, you know, and it's just a smooth process. But, you know, it's all in the planning. But when you can process all of the possibilities of change and try and plan for as many as you can, obviously you can't always, you know, predict everything, but plan it for as many as you can. And that's the thing when you look at it, too. Um, if, even if you're planning for elderly, for parents moving in, you know, we're all aging. So if it is a long-term home, you know, then you want to think about that, too. Okay, this is going to be something that's going to work out for me later on. I might I want to be doing the stairs all the time. I might want to have to have a first floor master. So then when the parents do um, not need that space anymore, then it is ready for yourself or something so that's another thought too but we look at all, all aspects um we're working with a lady right now she's just started uh getting this house ready she wants to do a ramp on the front um it is a low house so it's not going to be too bad at all she just became more and more handicapped um recently as she's been having real problems with her feet so we're working with her also now um we will put in pocket doors um in the home because when you're in wheelchair or, you know, a power chair, you you can't, you know, open and swing the door. You know, it's very hard to swing a door open or pull it to you to open it or anything. It always has to be in. Well, you can't always open a door in. One way or the other, it's going to be out. So we do a lot of pocket doors, and we'll change, you know, areas around to to accommodate, you know, that in certain areas of the home. So, And then everything has to be more accessible. Yeah, for those people that don't understand what a pocket door is, I never heard the expression before what a pocket door was, although I have one of them in my house. So it's a door that actually slides in the wall. So it's really kind of cool. So it doesn't slide outside because that would be impossible if you had a wheelchair. Like you just said, it slides in and slides out, and it's really kind of cool. So we have one, um, and um, I just never knew what it was called. It was just different, but um, I'm glad you mentioned pocket doors. I just mentioned that for those people that might be listening in. It's a real nice alternative, mm-hmm. especially in hallways, like where we have hours where it's leading into a bathroom because you really wouldn't want a door swinging that into the hallway. It would just be kind of messed up. So all those types of things. Now, do you do everything from just the outside shell? Or if you were doing my kitchen, would you be doing plumbing, electricity, lighting, uh, maybe even helping me pick out appliances? Do you do all of that stuff as well? 
Definitely, definitely. We um we work with local um licensed contractors in the plumbing and the because we're licensed contractor too, so we pull our permits and uh, protect ourselves and the homeowners, especially um, with inspections and and that's a big thing on resale. You know, people you know sometimes think, oh, my taxes are going to go up, or you know, I really don't want anybody in my home looking at my stuff. And but it it is something that if you're looking for resale down the road, that you, people will come and say, okay, we went back and we looked, and this was never permitted, this job. So it's really, we don't know if it's safe or not. We can't give you any money for it. Full finished basements, I've heard, you know, where they will knock it down. So that we are hire these legal um, licensed electricians and plumber that work with us hand in hand all the time that we've worked with for 10 and 15 years now. So then when we do this, we can do all the full planning and definitely with, you know, um, as far as design, you know, working, okay, for lighting, you're going to want to, you know, different kind of can lighting or, or different kind of pendant lighting that we work with. You know, the one that we just finished, the lady did a modern farmhouse design in style. And now, like I said, the room that we finished was 27 by 29 once we took out the exterior wall and opened it up into the addition. And uh, she had large pendant lights and at first when we seen them we were in a small area and it was like they were huge it's like oh my god she's gonna put this in the in a living room or dining room of a home you know it looked like it was it was you know huge but then when they did the whole room it was perfect so yeah there's a lot of things in design that we work with the homeowners and then uh you know functionality too you know what what really we're doing the house right now with the kitchen and we actually have two microwaves because one is going to be closer to the living room on that end of the kitchen where the other one is over on the other end of the kitchen right over the stove. So, the, But the one over on the other end is by the coffee bar and where they make popcorn and things like that. So, you know, it's it's functionality for you. we got to, you know, figure out, okay, what are you going to use this room for? How are you going to use this room? Then we work with you with the candid design. Okay, you can have pullouts here or, you know, you don't want to have to bend over too much and climb into this cabinet, you know, and have pull-out shelving. So a lot of good design goes into the kitchens in that sense too. Wow. Now, I didn't ask you this question before because, you know, as we're learning about what you do, what about all these new smart devices? You know, your refrigerator is going to have a relationship with your toaster oven. It's going to have a relationship with your microwave oven, the light bulb. Sure. It's, you know, I, I'm a big fan of that Alexa device. So now yeah. I'm learning that, you know, there's this over here and that over there. Are you are you working with those things too? Like, you know, d- turn on my Quite thermostat. Bit. Really? Quite a bit. You know, with Alexa, um, we actually are just now working with Alexa to get on Google where um, we'll be in this area preferred contractor. So if you go on Alexa um, and say, Alexa, I need a contractor for Lapeer area, Michigan, um, we will be coming up on that, on Alexa. That's our new, one of our new ventures that we're working on right now. And, um, but with the homes, we're doing um, like um, we do storage drawers that have electricity in them, or they'll have, you know, they'll have a couple of USB ports so that um, they can charge their phone out of sight. Wow. We do a lot of that. Um, inside inside of cabinets, um, now in pantry cabinets and storage cabinets, we're doing plugs in there for, for um, robotic battery-operated vacuums and things like that, you know. So we see a lot of that, yeah. And then data, data communication. We uh, run a lot of Cat5 and Cat6 cable. Um, for data communication uh, between homes, you know, and from bedroom to bedroom, so everybody's got the high speed, you know, um, in each room. So we see a lot of that. And then security. Oh, security has really um, gone, you know, to where people, you know, they just want to see and know everything right away. You know, there's um, your ring doorbells. Um, we got, you know, that people just want to be able to, you know, be uh, surrounded by that. So, yes, we are definitely moving into that phase all as fast as it's coming up. Wow. That's a, it's amazing. Cause I, you know, you don't even, you don't even think about that sort of stuff and uh, how would somebody yeah. retrofit maybe a kitchen with those things in mind? I, somebody like myself, I would be, you would probably be bringing those ideas up in my mind. Cause I don't even know they're available. So having exactly. somebody kind of up to speed on these things is really kind of important. Okay. Definitely. So we got about, Two or three minutes left. How do people get in touch with you? Well, the best way to get in touch with us is at SullyAirConstruction.com. 
That's S O U L L I E R E Construction dot com. Or call me personally. I'm always available on the phone at eight one zero six five six two five eight five. Um available almost every day from seven AM to at least seven PM. Uh, I do work some weekends, you know, so I definitely uh I'm available at that time, too. I tell my customers, you know, always try. Um, I do text also at that same phone number. So, you know, we can, if you can't talk, and you know, I've had um, people where they've been, you know, um, they don't have a voice. They have no other way of communicating. So where we do text only, you know. So there's a lot of different ways to communicate with our customers um, and getting that out there. But the best is definitely good to go to our website, and then we have the YouTube channel also. The website, we're doing more blogs all the time. Uh, we got new blogs coming out every week. Um, so we're on different um, projects that we're working on, projects that we have coming up. And then we're going to be doing informational ones, too, on planning, on how to plan your projects and what to look for in your home so that you can understand when you do want to plan a project. Excellent. So for those people listening in, Tell us the areas that you normally service. So geographically, if somebody's listening in and they're from that area, they want to take a look at you and hire you. We normally service the Southeast Michigan area, which would be Macomb, Oakland, Lapeer, and St. Clair counties. Genesee County also parts of that and parts of Wayne County. So we we have a big area that we cover here, Um, mostly from I-69 south, and then over all the way to Port Huron, uh, we work up along the lake on um, Lake Huron and Port Huron in that area quite a bit. So, you know, it really just depends on the project. You know, we, we uh, have guys that live in all different areas that work for us so we can send them to different projects. So we try and keep them closer to home so that way we have, you know, multiple people that work for us that can work from different areas without being a stressed on drive or, you know, and that they're going to be there on time every day. So it makes it better on everybody. Excellent. Okay, great. Well, thanks, everybody, for listening in. You just heard Jerry Soulier from Soulier Construction. Go to buildingfortunesradio.com forward slash Soulier Construction or check out the radio show on his website. Check out the blog. I love to check out the pictures because there's some really great pictures there, some work that's being done, and we'll catch you next time on Building Fortunes Radio. Jerry, thanks for being here. We'll see everyone next time. Thank thanks, you. everyone. You're welcome. Good You've been listening to Building Fortunes Radio on buildingfortunesradio.com. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check us out every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time for the designated Building Fortunes Radio segment with Peter Mingle. Be sure to check out the buildingfortunesradio.com website for our featured segments. It's been our privilege to have you listen in. At Building Fortunes Radio, we wish you the success you deserve and are willing to work for. So spread the word, tell a friend, join our newsletter, and go make a difference in your world.